Let's continue looking at these definitions in the C6 syllabus. Cartesian plane. A plane with a point selected as an origin, some length selected as a unit of distance, and two perpendicular lines that intersect at the origin with positive and negative directions selected on each line. Traditionally, the lines are called X, drawn from left to right, with positive direction to the right of the origin, and Y, drawn from bottom to top, with positive direction upwards of the origin. Coordinates of a point are determined by the distance of this point from the line, and the sign of the coordinates are determined by whether the point is in the positive or in the negative direction from the origin. <coughs> a line segment that connects two points on a curve. Chord. The diameter of a circle is a special chord that passes through the center of the circle. So the chord it is a straight line that touches two points on the circumference of the circle inside the circle. <coughs> Circle, the set of points in a plane that are all, f at, are all a fixed distance from a given point, which is called the center. The circumference of a circle is the distance along the circle. It's a special name for the perimeter of the circle. Class interval. <coughs> non-overlapping intervals which together contain every piece of data in a survey also for example you have 0 to 5 5 to 10 no 0 to 5 yeah 5 to 10 10 to 15 and so on coefficients the constant multiplicative factor of a mathematical object for example in the expression 4d plus 5t squared plus 3s the 4 5 and 3 are coefficients of the variable d t square and s so it's coefficient of a variable which usually represented by a letter is the number that multiplies the letter 3x squared the coefficient of x squared is 3 all right 2x the coefficient of x is 2 5x the coefficient of x is 5 okay collinear a set of points are said to be collinear if they all lie on the same straight line commutative property reversing the order in which two objects are added are multiplied will yield the same result for all the numbers a and b, a plus b is equal to b plus a, and a b is equal to b a. Okay, so to commute means to travel. It means to travel. If a travels to the back and b travels to the front, and you, when you add them, you get the same answer. Same here, you have a b. If a if b travels to the front and a travels to the back, or in other words, they commute. A commutes to the front, b commutes to, to the back. Then, or a commutes to the back b commutes to the front when you multiply them you get the same answer no matter which order you place them all right complement the complement of a set a is another set of all elements outside of set a but within the universal set so the complement contains all the elements that are outside of the of the set complementary angles two angles that have a sum of 90 degrees so complementary angles add up to 90 degrees such as 30 and 60 degrees All right so if you have a right angle triangle you have the right angle that's 90 but the rest of the other two add up to 90 so they are complementary composite function a function containing consisting of two or more functions such that the output of one function is the input of the other function 
Oh, for example, in the composite function, f g of x, the input of f is g. So you work out g and then put it in f. So that's a composite function. It's composed of more than one function together. Composite numbers. Numbers that have two or more factors. For example, 6 and 20 are composite fun numbers, while 7 and 41 are not. Well, in this case, 7 and 41 are prime numbers. Oh, compound interest. A system of calculating interest on the sum of the initial amount invested together with the interest previously awarded. If A is the initial sum invested in an account, and R is the rate of interest per period, then the total after N period is A, 1 plus R, 1 plus R to the power of N. Okay, so compound interest. With compound interest, if you calculate the interest per year after the first year, you have the interest added to the amount then that new money with that new money you calculate the new interest from that with simple interest when the interest is generated you don't add it to the amount so it's like bank account savings account compound interest they use compound interest when you get the interest the bank just add it to what you have and you get a new amount the next time the interest is calculated is calculated off that new amount to get a new amount and so on simple interest that's with fixed deposit the amount of money is fixed they don't go into the account and interfere with it when you when you get the interest they either send it to some other account or write you a check and that same amount of money is there next time the interest is calculated is calculated off that same amount of money not a new amount but the same amount okay all right congruent two shapes in the plane or in space are congruent if they are identical that is if one shape is placed on the other they match exactly so they are this they look the same and they are of the same size same angles same everything same measurements the model of a house and the actual house would not be congruent but they are similar the real house is bigger than the model they are not of, of the same size but they would be similar all right coordinates a unique order of numbers that identifies a point on the coordinate plane on the cartesian two-dimensional plane the first number in the ordinate represents the identity um pairs pair let me read that again on the cartesian two-dimensional plane the first number in the ordered pair identifies the position with regards to the horizontal or x-axis while the second number identifies the position relative to the vertical or y-axis okay so that's open bracket the x coordinate comma y coordinate close bracket Coplanar. A set of points is coplanar if the points all lie in the same plane. So the plane would be like a flat surface. And the plane points all lie on that same plane. Such as the wall or on the floor or the top of the the um table, the same table. They all lie on the same plane. Coplane oh corresponding angles. Two angles in the same relative position are on two parallel lines when those lines are cut by a transversal. Okay, so you will see more of that as you study um, diff different types of angles. This small number, a number written in base 10, which is a number that we use every day. Degree, a degree, well, the number system that we use every day, I should say. Degree, a degree is a unit of measure of angles where one degree is one three sixtieth of a complete revolution. 
depreciation, the rate at which the value of an asset diminishes due only to wear and tear. Alright? So that's depreciation. It's not due to the fact that while well, you get desperate for money, so you will sell it for much slower than you are willing. You will sell the car for much lower than you are willing to sell it. Or you're migrating and you have a lot of money already, so you just want to get rid of the car. No, that's not what they mean. They mean that that car that is depreciating is depreciating due to wear and tear only. Alright? Diagonal. The diagonal of a polygon is a straight line joining two of its non adjacent vertices. So <coughs> that's the corners you join the corners are the vertices of the shape and you get the diagonal. Uh, this continuous graph a graph a line in a graph that is interrupted or has a break in it. So that's a discontinuous graph. This um Where, yeah, discrete. A set of values are said to be discrete if they are all distant and separate from each other. For example, the the set of shoe size, where the elements of the set can only take on a limited and di distinct set of values. So those would be discrete data. You either have ten and size ten and a half or size eleven, but there's no size ten and three quarter. There's no size 10.6 or anything like that. So when somebody says you must use your discretion when you're discussing the two different situations, that means you should be able to identify the clear differences between these two situations. So you use your discretion, discrete, discrete data. All right. Uh, this joint, two sets are this joint if they have no common elements their intersection is empty so when you're drawing you're, you're drawing the universal set these two circles would not intersect they are disjoint sets distributive property summing two numbers and then multiplying by a third number yield the same value as multiplying both numbers by the third number and then adding them in algebraic terms for all real numbers a b and c then a open bracket b plus c close bracket is the same as is equal to a times b plus a times c all right domain of the function f the set of object x for which x f of x is defined so the domain is like the input they dominate what's going to happen after you they pass through the formula you have a formula the answer depends on the number that you put in the formula so that number is the x value that you put in the formula all right all right so we'll continue with this next time